So, hi everyone, my name is Bartek Kostelli, I'm the owner of the HTG Tuning Poland. Some of you may actually know us, some of you may be here for the first time. So we wanted to come up with a new thing for us, which is a YouTube series showing you guys what's this all tuning about. Uh, the things that we do, controlling the drivetrain, controlling the transmissions, dual clutches, 8 HPs and many many more to show you the people that we cooperate with, the issues that we face, the new ideas that we want to come up with and um, this is a pretty new thing for us, this is a pretty new thing for me so it will be a steep learning curve over the time but here we are, we are at our very first occasion to do the video, we are here in the Ferropoli in Germany so excuse me for all the things that are not perfect but we'll get it perfect for you let us know what you like what you would like to see and we'll try to make it happen it's for a spot in the final Vasilyas gets to chase in Shannon Shannon comes in absolutely flying into the front it's more way better than sequential the Lithuanian driver knows James Dean he's beaten James Dean in the red up on the rain Everything is looks simple. We don't have anything what we don't need in this car. Thanks all fans from Lithuania! Woo! We are in Germany right now, driving on a famous German Autobahn highway, which is pretty great because there is no speed limit, so you can go as fast as you want, in theory, but we are all running late, as usual because we run across a traffic jam, so we basically... I don't understand. Hey Siri, but we are running late as usual. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, anyways, anyways, uh, we have around one hour, 20 minutes left to, to the Ferret Police uh, for the Driftmasters Grand Prix event. Um, yeah, I hope the weather will be good and we'll get some good driving and footage from it. The DCT is already tuned, so basically just doing a basic check if everything's fine and ready for the competition. Today is uh, practice and some qualifying runs tomorrow and the main event is on Saturday. So fingers crossed for the good results and yeah, keep on driving. So here we are, we arrived at the Ferropolis, we got our passes back with the welcome to Drift Island. So let's find a parking spot and we'll, we'll see how the event is, um, is happening here. A long story short about this place, so Ferropolis is an old mining site which uh, right now is, a, is in the middle of a pit lake that has been created post the mining activities. And this is a open space museum. It has, if I'm correct, five big, big machines for the mining stuff, weighing up to 2,000 tons. So pretty cool stuff, industrial mood. Uh, never been there, my first time here. Um, so yeah, let's see how it looks. adjustments on the track before we go to the night session some pre-selection changes um, clutch pressure changes so basically to get a tune up to the driver pre uh, preferences uh, this track is not the fastest one so mainly use gear number two and gear number three we don't need a pre-selection of higher gears or the lower gears so right now we are changing the tune to be maximally optimized and quick
nine night rounds of drifting at the Ferropoli Drift Event on Drift, Drift Masters Grand Prix. Uh, Andreas had a couple of rounds, but unfortunately we have a broken axis, so we will change it. But everything seems very good, ready for tomorrow's competition. Check out this place, it's beautiful. This all the illuminations are the big, big machines. I was driving here, it's, it's really nice, big echo. Okay, so we have both cars checked, the E46 with the DCT and the E92 with the DCT as well as ready, everything's checked, ready for tomorrow, everything looks promising, so let's have a fingers crossed for the good weather, because it has been raining today for the half of the, half of the event. Yeah, tomorrow we have a practice and we have a qualification and hopefully the day after we are going to be at tops. Yeah, first time ever? Yeah, first time ever. I mistake my drive car. My car. I'm taking the from the six. Oh, so we have a spare, but the wrong spare. From different car. But it's fixable? I don't know. You don't know? No, no, no. It's total, total, the huge mistake. <laughs> but overall, how do you find today's driving? Everything is good. Everything is good. Ready for tomorrow? If I have, a, if I get the mentally, are you ready yeah. for tomorrow? <laughs> if I get, the, if I get drive shaft, yeah, we're ready. But actually, in four year, first time I break. If there are parts that you expect to replace in the drift car, tires are the first ones, and the axles are the second one. Uh, in this case, this car does not break those pretty often. Actually, the driver does not break them pretty often. This is actually the first one broken in this car. But you know, big power, grippy tires, clutch kick, when you're chasing, something can fail. And actually we have a axle failure, but hopefully we can get it, uh, we can get the replacement one. Unfortunately, guys do not have this exact part uh, as, as a spares. So we're looking for to get one and to start tomorrow in the competition. Day two, hello. Uh, we're on our way to, to the drift events. We had a, a little late start. Yesterday we had a long, long day. First of all, traveling to the, um, to the spots. Then a whole day of trainings, of checking the cars. Unfortunately, we, we didn't get much of a footage yesterday, so we'll try to catch up today and explain you more on the technical side, what's happening on, on such an event, what do you check, uh, what can you expect, and, and so on and so on. Long story short, we have two cars on the event. One is a E92 with the DCT and the other is E46. Both cars run S55 M4 engines um, and a DCT, long ratio 7-speed ones with the GCU. So yesterday they had the trainings, we pretty much adjusted all of the pre-selection zones and, and clutch pressures uh, after the driver's preferences. This track is, uh, is a simple track, so we're not going through all of the gears, that's why we adjusted pre-selection to just stay in, um, in the zone that we need, so, it's, so the gear that you need is always there. Um, but at the last session, by the nights, uh, unfortunately, uh, the E92 had broke axle, but the guys uh, should have it fixed right now. Actually, this was the first uh, first axle broken uh, in, in this car. Uh, they use a M4 F82 
axles, so it was a little pain in the ass to, to find the needed one. In one hour we'll be starting a qualification runs for the, for the group. Uh, and hopefully we get a good two runs, good scores, so fingers crossed. And then we'll fight in a top 32, hopefully 16, 8 and up to the top. They deliver from Lithuania. Delivery day. So lucky they. Okay, so that's that's what happens sometimes. You know, we call it drifting. Shit happens. The new axle is already fitted in. We are running late, so we have to make a quick check before the qualifications. So I just want to check if everything is good in the trance, see if we got all inputs working. Um, so yeah, switching the ignition on. We have a GCU online and let's start the, start the engine, see if we got all of the gears, everything's working good, good clutch pressures. So everything's checked, everything's checked, uh, we can get the car lined up on the, on the starting line and let's see those qualifications run. Okay, so let me show you quickly how does it look in the interior of this car. So we have a special shifter which controls the gears and the modes, nice uh, canvas keypad where you can switch on the engine, nice starting image. So we have a gear display, some basic engine data uh, that you need during the drive to, to basically watch everything. Very simple build. E-brake and here we have a clutch pedal. As you can see this is a pedal box which has an electronic um, sensor here fitted. So when you press a clutch uh, it basically gives a signal to the GCU on how to disengage the clutches, how to re-engage them. Very simple wheel, very nice and clean, very durable for the, for the competitions. I would have forgotten about one of the main guests here. That's cool. This is a not too small battle of a nitros, so the power is always there. So the qualifying is just about to begin, but the hosts were so nice and we have one extra run to test the car if everything's fine with the new axles. So yeah, let's, let's get it done.
what what made you come up with the idea for this car? Why why BMW? Why why, why actually this model? Oh, it's a very long story. A long story. <laughs> yeah, it, we need a minimum one two days. Ah, okay. Hours. So not actually, getting into it. It came it came from forty year old. Then I sold uh, my uh, my uh, motorcycle and uh, for this money. I by the BMW. Okay, that's it. That's and it. I'm start drifting. <laughs> <laughs> it was 836 with the 2.0 liter petrol, six in line. Okay, so so the first first question was this decision to start drifting good or bad? Was it? A, I think it's good. I think everything what I did in, in my in my in my in my world, like uh, in this very short time, everything I'm for everything I'm happy and. Uh, everything I want to repeat again. Like. But I guess the first car for the drift was like way lower power, way slower. So. Minimum 10, 12 years before, if, if you have a 2.5 liter BMW, 140 kilowatt engine, you are king. <laughs> In this car we're using the BMW S55 engine. Uh, it's, uh, it's came from a M4, M3, F series BMW. And actually, Can we show the, how it looks? Yeah. Okay. Nice, very clean setup. So, what's the power of it? Original power uh, without any tune with the stock ECU, it's uh, 430 uh, horsepower, and uh, actually now we did uh, more than 900 horsepower in the wheels. Quite a lot. Quite yeah. a lot. Reliable setup? Yeah, I'm very happy because uh, everything is simple and it's, it's so strong. And okay. Doesn't look simple, but <laughs> the idea is here. Everything is looks simple. We don't have anything what we don't need in this car. We just have the main parts, main main sensors, who is controlling this car. But uh, actually, the main the main things like we have original BMW engine with uh, the original gearbox, automatic gearbox. Like. So this is a DCT seven yeah, speed. Seven speed DCT DCT gearbox. This idea came approximately two years before. I'm start thinking how I can save the money. For the good cheap project, like and uh, last year, last year I started. Uh, I'm prepare one GCU one gearbox uh, with GCU from the HDG, and I put in A46. The one that is driving yes, here. On the yes, yes. Uh, I test. I, I test a minimum half year, and uh, and every day I'm planning to put this gearbox in the, my pro car. The most important things like. Uh, we have 900 horsepower, but we use the total stock cars, that we get. This is unbelievable score because uh, I don't know anyone, anyone, anyone gearbox from the like the manual gearbox with the original clutches who can hold more than 200 horsepower more if you use the stock. So here is not an issue, and this is running stock clutches. Yes. No one. Yes. Everything, everything is the stock. Okay, so. Looking at the inside, how do you control the, the, the gears? Uh, the gears? The gears are simple, it's simple. We used also HTG, HTG the shifter, and uh, everything everything is controlled controlled by one hand, like upshift, downshift. Okay, everything is the, the simple principle. Principle is that this look like a sequential gearbox, but it's it's more way better than sequential gearbox. And uh, what about the clutch? You have a electronic pedal. Fit. Yes, yes. We use the electric, electric, uh, electric sensor for the clutch by wire, and uh, everything is. The principle is the same like the the, the normal clutch, but uh, you must a little bit time for the learn this, uh, and uh, after this you can drive like the normal car, normal road, or drifting or circuit racing, whatever you want, you can drive with this car. So just 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 so people know, you build the whole car on your own by yourself, yes. right? Yes. So, if, for example, people are interested in building such a car, you also can build such yeah. cars for you. Yes. Yeah. You said that you have more than only this car that you built on this event. Yes. So there are how many cars here? We have. We, I have here four cars. My old cars were sold in, in the in the drift. Oh. I have here two ninety two, two A ninety two, and uh, two A forty six. Maybe in a couple of years you have fifty percent of this. It's my, it, it's my very, very, very big, uh, very big. Uh, yes, yes, that's what I want. Like, uh, like some some people who is building cars in, in Latvia, they have uh, many cars in the Europe. And uh, my plan in the future is also prepare the more more cars. Nice. But but the plan, the, but the plan, the main plan is uh, is to prepare cars 
not the not the best role you know, is the is the semi pro yeah, because small, yeah because my plan is to use the stock engine with the full stock gearbox and uh, make make the car is the more cheaper. Okay, so uh, more people can enjoy yes, yes. more advanced setup yes, rather than yes, H pattern. Yes, yes. Because so. because the real real good pro car costs a lot. The simple simple build with the with the approximately like we found the 700 horsepower with the stock S55 engine and stock ACU, it's not possible. But still saving money, we have to admit that this car is built really really nice. It's really impressive. Car, All of the bodyworks, the interior, clean look, wiring, everything is there and everything is done by by Pro and Motors. We have the carbon cable body kit. We have. A, we and this is bodyki.u. Yes, right? yes. Everything is made in Lithuania. Everything is did in Lithuania. All jobs did in the by our our company and. Uh, so you're a one-stop shop. Yeah. I want the car. Yeah. Can, Couple you can, months you later. Can, you can you can order uh, half year if you have uh, a lot of money and. Uh, we can do it. <laughs> That's good, that's good. Yeah. So uh, today you managed to go into the top 32, so yes. tomorrow battling. With the James Dean. Yeah, that's, that will be we fun. Must, we must beat him and uh, go to the minimum top four. Okay. Here is here is not simply you. This event comes with all strongest people from the EU. And every year, every year the skill is, is, is up and up and up. And up. You it's scored really, 78. Uh, 78. We, we make we make today the 78 because actually is the is the second second good event with the this car because this car we built this year and uh, and uh, and everything we everything we tested only for been prepared only for the this race. Now this car is running without a problem and uh, we will see how it's working tomorrow. All right. Event. So fingers crossed for tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you very much. Please welcome. Hi, so uh, very nice car. Can you tell us a little bit, uh, basically, what the idea came from for the car? What was the setup of it? So, uh, I'm on official, I'm driving uh, naturally a uh, C46. Uh, so, uh, I have buy this uh, from Andrew, so yes. let's discuss. Uh, it's an uh, engine from uh, M4. So manager, What's the power of it, more or less? It's uh, more to uh, 700, yes. Yeah, 700, yeah, more 700 kilos per hour, so it's very, very fun to drive. So that's <laughs> the first time I drive uh, this car. So it's very nice. Yeah, what the transmission are you running? Transmission is uh, actually the uh, electrical second cell. Uh, by you, by you, I see. Yes, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a seven-speed uh, dual. Yes, of course, of course. And how do you find? Uh, it's you uh, find very it? fast uh, to down uh, to upshift. Uh, very active to uh, downshift off. So very efficient. So, so it's easier to drive. It's, uh, it's uh, very cool to drive. Uh, so we have to, 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 just to, to learn to not use the clutch. But, uh, it's very easy. Okay. So this event, this Carapol is first time here? First time here. So for first time here, it's amazing. We have an amazing driver here. So it's very nice to, uh, to be here. It's, uh, it's a little dream, my little dream. Uh, I saw you so had a very nice play. Thank you. Very good. So are you ready for the... Yes. Yeah, we have, uh, we have to, uh, to do the best. And, uh, <laughs> so we'll have our fingers crossed. Thank best you. luck on the, Thank you. the track and Thank you. see you. Have a good day. Okay, so there we go with the IDK Iron Drift King Top 32. We have the E46 EDT warming up, and it's just about to, to make a run. The best of 32 today. And tomorrow we will have a run of the Andres Masiliano's class of the Drift Masters Grand Prix.
so top 32 runs are over now. Uh, there were two solid runs, fortunately not solid enough to, to advance to the next uh, top 16. But keep in mind that this is the, the second outing of the car, actually first one after buying it. So, you know, really uh, congratulations for the great results with a very short time of driving it. Fingers crossed for the, for the next events, for the next results. And we're very happy that the whole setup delivers fun for the owner. So, yeah, um, I hope to see him more in next battles. And yeah, that's it. Right, so I guess we're done for today. Only thing left is to just sit down and enjoy the, the show, the event. And tomorrow we'll be keeping our fingers crossed at the top 32 battles for Andreas Vasilyauskas. He'll be battling James Dean, so. We we'll need a good, good run to, to make it happen. But anyways, we're here for fun. We're here to check out, check the whole setup to show how it works and explain it to you. And basically, this whole thing, the whole YouTube thing, is a new thing for me, for us. I hope you guys enjoy it and be tuned for more. All right. This is a Iron Drift King night round. This is currently top eight competition. Oh, and it's fun. It's fun. Take a look at this place. It looks amazing by the night, all those illuminations and really, really good drifting. So today there is an IDK, Iron Drifting Series, and tomorrow there is Driftmasters European Championship, top runs. So yeah, it looks really, really, really good. begin and in the meantime I had a really nice conversation with the guys from Romania, the Kalin Drift. We, I just went to pick up some drink from the car and it's like, oh are you from ATG? Yeah. So the guys are putting um, DCT transmission into their uh, one of the cars and wanting to do it this winter. So it's you know really cool to meet some people that's uh, interested in going the DCT route and we want to promote it as well because it's a uh, it's a future we hope. Uh, there is some other team that we had a conversation about. They are building two cars with the DCTs. So, you know, it's getting bigger and bigger. And hopefully we'll have a lot of, you know, cool builds to show you in this YouTube series. We'll be able to see how to build them, what's the goal, how it works. And maybe someday if you want to go this route and try it on your car, you know, we'll be able to help. Wow. Well, well. James Dean. So it will be an interesting drive.
People that I know, they ain't no longer about. My name came up a lot of sounds. More when I was not around. Certain people that I know, they ain't no longer about. My name came up a lot of sounds. More when I was not around. Certain people that I know. That the ride or die. I keep boys by my seat. Know that the ride or die. Know that the ride or die. Oscars transitions back. Prol desperate now. He's offline. He's off flow. He's desperately trying to get there. He's on the front wheel. He's hit. Thanks, thanks all the fans from Lithuania. Today I feel very happy and ah, I love that world. <laughs> Yeah, but by the way, this, the event is very good. <laughs> First time this, this car started driving and uh, sometimes it's, uh, it's not came from the, from the car or from us. Sometimes it's the technical issues. All days. Small, small issues, but we can fix it and everything. We can drive it. First time just starting with the gear 2. Yes. Drive, nothing, 4 is good. And complete. So free is not good. First and free is not That's it. The battle for the third place, uh, we ran into overheating issue. Uh, just to be clear, we're running a stock, stock full OEM DCT box with the stock clutches. So the car makes, on the other hand, 1000 Nm more or less with the nitrous shot, with a very grippy volume of tires, uh, very low pressure in the tires. So it's all about the grip, all about the grip. And we have a still used stock DCT box. Um, basically, the clutches are gone. One of the clutches is gone. To give you a very clear explanation, technical explanation of what's happened and why it happened, uh, we've been doing a clutch by wire, so electronic clutch uh, operation mapping to get a better mid range operation resolution. So, to be able to play with the clutch more, to make it very, very soft, because we wanted to achieve a really smooth re-engagement and disengaging of the clutch uh, but this comes with a with a thing that when the clutch is in a, a middle position the pressure is dropped 
there comes a slip. And when the clutches slip, they can slip up to some point and for some amount of time, but when they slip for a very long time or quite often, like here in, uh, in this drifting that we had, they create, they build up the heat. And because we are using the OEM clutches from the stock box, they are not prepared to, to, to get as much heat and they basically wear pretty quickly. So what we are going to do is we're going to go with the upgraded clutches which are meant to be, you know, ripped. They, they can withstand the big amounts of the heat. So even with the kicking scenario, skiing all day, they will be way, way better, way more durable and they should last way longer. But anyways, guys, tuning is always a balance. It's never like perfect solution for everything. We want soft, we need sleep, we sleep, we create heat, so heat, you know, wears things. So we need to balance it. Therefore, we need upgraded parts, upgraded touches. We go with upgraded touches and we'll know what's next. Yes, overall, we are very, very, very happy with the results that we got. It's a really big thing for us big, you know, step in learning, making things better and better, and we'll be there for you, coming up with better and better solutions and better hints how to make your build ready to rock from the very first day one. So that's it for this event. Uh, we came here to test the car, which is a pretty new build. Turned out we finished in the place four of the Driftmasters Grand Prix even here in Ferropolis. The second car also with the DCT managed to have a couple nice runs in the Iron Drift King Series. So overall really happy with the results. I hope you guys enjoy this. This is our first episode. We're going to show you some more and more next week in Cyprus. Stay tuned for more. Thanks.